the Raleigh and Cool Cigarette Program with Tommy Dorsey. Two, two cigarettes on the air. Cigarettes and cool cigarettes, the union made cigarettes that carry golden coupons good for worthwhile premiums, present their show starring that sentimental gentleman of swing. <laughs> Tommy Dorsey, his trombone, and his orchestra, with Edith Wright and Jack Leonard. And Paul Stewart is Master of Ceremonies. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. When you hear the sound of the note, it will be music sweet and swing from Tommy Dorsey and Company and another Raleigh and Cool show from Hollywood. Tommy, how'd you make out with that extra special amateur swing contest you promised for this evening? Well, it seems Bing Crosby started something when he and Dick Powell asked us to stage one of our contests. So they could take a swing at that $75 prize. Anyway, it's on tonight. The entries are Dick Powell, Ken Murray, Shirley Ross, Jack Benny, and Bing Crosby. Five of Hollywood's finest amateur, amateur musicians, we hope. <laughs> well, well, I'm for that, Tommy. I'd like to see the kids get a break. Uh, suppose, suppose I go out and dust off the applause meter and try to dig up the 75 bucks for the winner. Meanwhile, you and the boys can play one of the new Irving Berlin tunes from Alexander's Ragtime Band that you introduced a couple of weeks ago, huh? Okay, it's called My Walking Stick. Edith Wright will sing. my walking stick, I'd go insane, can't look my best, feel undressed without my cane, must have my walking stick, cause it may rain, and when it pours, can't be outdoors without my cane, if I ever left my house without my walking stick, it would just be something I could never explain, the thing that makes me stay on lover's lane. Would go for naught if I were caught without my cane Everyone likes to collect things. Some people go in for rare coins, others say valuable stamps or first editions of books. But there's a new hobby that's caught the popular fancy. Literally millions of Americans are saving the valuable golden coupons that come with Raleigh cigarettes. There's one on every pack, and they're good for all sorts of useful things. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, what's inside a pack of Raleigh's, you want to know? Well, you'll find extra value there, too. Raleigh's are a mild, smooth cigarette, blended from no less than 31 selected tobaccos. Yes, 31 fine grades of Turkish, Virginia, and Burley tobaccos. Each different type of leaf was singled out, chosen because it helped make the Raleigh blend smoother, milder, more distinctive in flavor than any other brand. But even with this extra care and blending, Raleigh's cost you no more than any other popular priced brand. Also, you have a choice of plain ends or cork tips. And each pack of Raleigh's has that valuable golden coupon. So why not try Raleigh's? Get a pack tomorrow and see why Raleigh's are winning a greater percentage of new smokers than any other popular priced brand on the market. <laughs> Hey, 
A song that's catching on fast. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it swell? Played by Tommy Dorsey and sung by Jack Leonard. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it swell? The spell of love has so many charms. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it swell? fell from heaven into my arms. I've been a blind one. I never knew I'd ever find one as lovely as you. Isn't it wonderful? Can it be true that you can see something in me isn't it swell how wonderful love can be we go on with the proceedings, we have an interesting item of news. Metronome magazine, leading magazine of musicians, has published the results of its annual poll to determine the standing of favorite dance bands. Tommy Dorsey has the best all-around standing of any band in the country. I'm going to introduce Mr. Jack Tenney, president of the Los Angeles Musicians Union, who will present the Metronome magazine award to Tommy. Mr. Tenney. Thank you, Paul, and congratulations to you, Tommy. The voting was done three ways, for best swing band, best sweet band, and all-round favorite. Your standing in all three divisions gives you the highest all-round average of any band in the country. That's a marvelous showing, Tommy, and I'm happy to present this award to you on behalf of Metronome Magazine for having America's number one all-round favorite band. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Tenney, and thanks to Metronome, and we're grateful to all our friends who made it possible. Ladies and gentlemen, with our fingers crossed, we present on behalf of the makers of Raleigh and Cool Cigarettes this special Hollywood edition of the Tommy Dorsey Amateur Swing Contest. We have here five amateur musicians. Each in turn will play a chorus with Tommy and the band, and the applause meter will record the response each one gets from the audience. And a prize of 75 bucks goes to the winner. From here out, it's each man for himself. Uh, is there anything to add before we start, Tommy? Well, just hold tight to your seats, everybody, <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Who's first? <laughs> the, uh... The, uh, the first contestant is a young man named Richard Powell, who plays the cornet. Have you, uh, have you got a nickname? Some people call me Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Powell. <laughs> Well, that's a nice name. Now, tell me, Dick, uh, what's your regular job? Well, I do picture work. Oh. <laughs> I see photography. That's very interesting. Yes. <laughs> well, it is once you get the hang of it. Dick, how long have you been playing cornet? Uh, mm, I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> but I've been playing about 12 years. Of course, on the side, I do picture work. Yes, I know, on the side, yes. <laughs> you, uh, are you working now? Huh? I say, are you working now? Oh, well, yeah, yes. I walk the floor at night. It's a girl, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on the side, I do picture work. Though. Yes, I know. We, uh, we went over that, Dick. Now, don't be nervous. Uh, tell me, you, uh... You haven't a job playing cornet now, have you? No, no, I'm, I'm kind of waiting to get word any day now. Well, don't worry, kid. Something will turn up. 
<laughs> I'll say this, you're one of the best dressed layoffs I've ever met. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to hurry you cats, but if you don't get me playing soon, I think my lip will pucker out. <laughs> It probably will anyway. I heard Henry Fonda a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tell me, Dick, if you, if you win the $75, what are you going to do with it? Well, I think I'll get an airplane and fly to Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, before you take off, what do you want to play? Well, I'm going to whip out with a little course of Ida. <laughs> You've got it, Dick. Here's four bars on the piano, and away we go. Oh, Any I, key, just so it's mine. I hope this kid does well. He's got a nice face. Thank you, thank you, Dick Powell. The next contestant... <laughs> here he comes, friends. <laughs> the next contestant is a young man who plays the clarinet. His name is Ken Murray. Ken, uh, Ken, what do you do? I used to work in Hollywood Hotel. You did, huh? <laughs> what were you, a bellhop? Mm, yeah, bellhop and a double on night clerk. Oh. <laughs> and so you uh, play clarinet. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Whatever, whatever gave you the idea of playing the clarinet? Well, I'm glad you asked me that, Stuart, because I've been dying to tell you that six weeks ago, I mailed in the coupon. <laughs> Other fellows left me in the social background. I was a wallflower. Girls avoided me. I had always thought myself musically dumb, still the ad said it was easy. So I mailed in the coupon, sent for the True Tone Hawaiian steel guitar, and this <laughs> is what I got. <laughs> After a couple of lessons, I was playing the easier tunes, and now after six lessons, I'm popularity itself, the life of every party. Only last night I was at a party, when I picked the clarinet out of the case, they all began to laugh. When I sat down at the piano, they gave me the merry ha-ha, and when I danced with her, she turned her head away. I played... <laughs> I played my old Kentucky home. My old Kentucky home I played, and the fella started to cry, and I walked away and said, you excuse me? I said, are you Kentucky? And he said, no, a musician. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen... You know, I'm, I'm almost sorry I asked you how you started to play. Now, <laughs> what are you going to swing out with now, a killer diller? No, I thought something of the better sort. Oh, tonight, I, I would like to give my impression to Mr. Fritz Chrysler playing 3 o'clock in the morning on the violin. I'll play it on the clarinet. All right, uh, that's fine, Ken. But first, I'd like to hear you play a little bit. Oh, you want to know what kind of instrument? That's well, right. I want to make a little apology. This is what is known as a Joan Crawford clarinet. No tone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I slipped that in tonight, all right. <laughs> Those other comedians with the mouth drooling over there. I tell you, <laughs> I play, but before that, I'd like to play Home Sweet Home for you. Tell me how you like it, Tommy. Right. Home Sweet Home. Oh, boy, that's terrible. Well, I got a terrible home. Three o'clock in the morning, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> as Fritz Price, if you please. Well, I'm not in the mood. I don't know what's the matter. I couldn't get... <laughs> Six lessons to help me. That's all I've had. I've had. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, I regret to make this statement, but even in such a beautiful studio as we have here with a large musical organization like Tommy Dorsey and his Connecticut Yankees, <laughs> there's bound to be a little professional jealousy. Six lessons is all I've had while others studied for years. <laughs> That's not my fault. That's the fourth lesson. Got lost in the mail. I couldn't help that. <laughs> what a spot for a ripe tomato right in here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ken Murray. You know, folks, it's interesting to note that not only is Ken Murray a comedian, but he plays funny, too, huh? <laughs> the, uh, the next contestant is a young lady, a young lady who plays the piano. She tells me her name is, uh, her name is Ross. Is that right? Uh, Shirley Ross. Shirley Ross. So you'll have to speak a little louder. Do you go to school, Shirley? I used to go to UCLA. Well, that's too loud. That's too loud. <laughs> Tell me, uh, what's, uh... What's your favorite pastime? Oh. Uh, wait, let's go back. Oh, no, I why like did you... the way we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> why, did you... why did you leave UCLA, huh? Well, you see, they wouldn't let me play the piano for the Seniors League Club. Oh, really? Yeah, it hurt my feelings. Well, why was that, Shirley? Well, I think it's awfully silly, but they caught me swinging on trees. They did, huh? Oh, oh. Oh. Uh, Dorothy's gay. <laughs> tell me, what, uh, what's your favorite pastime? Oh, I like to make movies. You do, huh? Uh -huh. Well, it's, I have one of those small home movie cameras myself, and I love oh, well, to make... Oh, we I make, make... full-length pictures all the time. You do, huh? Uh -huh. Well, I just can't get my camera to work like that. You I have ought a little to see the makeup I have to put on. Oh, yeah? Well, mm -hmm. we just take our stuff the way we are, you know. But tell me, do you have stories with titles and everything? Oh, sure, there's Prison Farm. That's playing right now. Oh, and then yes. in, in two weeks, I start Thanks for the Memory. Thanks for... Th oh, that was a beautiful song in the big <laughs> broadcast. There was a girl sang it. Yeah. What was her name? I can't... Well, I don't like But just a minute, just a minute. I'll get it. I'll well, get you it. must know. Oh, please, Shirley. I, I, I can see her right in front of me, and I can't think of her name. Look, Paul, this is Shirley Ross, and she sang Thanks for the Memory in the big broadcast. No, Tommy, don't... What? Hey, fellas, look at me. I'm talking to a real picture star. Hey, fellas, look at me. Hey, I'm talking to a picture star. Don't mind him, Shirley. He's studying to be one of the dead-end kids. Uh, what, what are you going to play, Shirley? Well, I'm going to try, thanks for the memory. It's yours for the asking. <laughs> Now, the next contestant is a young man who is a violinist, trying to be a violinist and <laughs> trying, trying very hard to get in the professional class. Um, if I could have your attention, what is your name? My name is Jack Benny. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, tell me, uh, what do you do besides play the violin? I'm in the movies. Oh, you're a movie actor, huh? I'm a lover. 
<laughs> you, uh... You want to make something out of oh, it? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just, uh... I'm just asking questions, that's all. We try to make everybody feel at ease and, uh, yeah. tell me this. You uh, hang out of a window upside down sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> tell me, uh, Jack, you play violin, you're a movie actor and a lover. What else do you do? What's it to you, big boy? <laughs> well, good night, that nerd. That's there. <laughs> tell me, tell wow. me, uh, uh, how did you happen to take up the fiddle? Well, I, no, I just lay in there and I just took it up. <laughs> you know, good know. thing it wasn't a piano, huh? Yeah, it's some joke. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Your line. <laughs> yeah, in my program, I could tell you what kind of a joke that was. <laughs> well, tell me, Jack, uh, what would you what would you like to play on the oh, violin? Oh, just a, just anything, just, just anything? anything at all. Well, anything you folks that? like to hear? <laughs> the B. The B. Uh, my honey's loving arms. That's it. Right. My honey's, honey's loving, loving arms. arms. <laughs> if I wasn't deaf, I could have heard the B. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> the uh, the next contestant, the next contestant is a young man who plays the drums. Uh, what is your name, please? Uh, Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby, mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> Bing, what's your regular job? Why, uh, I do a little light work around the Del Mar racetrack. Oh. <laughs> is that much of a job, Bing? Well, it's only part-time work, Tommy. It's from 2 to 5 every afternoon except Sunday. Oh, Tell me, Bing, have you uh, ever been on the radio before? Yeah, I was on the uh, radio last Thursday night. Oh, really? What did you do? Play the drums? No, I just talked and sang and fooled around, you know. Oh, well, that's nice. Tell me, have you, uh, you going to be on next Thursday? I, well, no, that's uh, not next Thursday. They got twice to me. <laughs> <laughs> have you, uh, have you, have you got any hobbies, Bing? Oh, yes, I sell uh, salad dressing on the side. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... That's a kind of a mixed-up life, work at a racetrack, sell salad dressing, and play... Well, after all, it takes all kinds. And, <laughs> Bing, how long have you been playing drums? About 15 years. Oh, I really? think I can uh, say with impunity that I aspire to be an exponent of a percussion instrument consisting of a hollow cylinder with the skin of some domestic animal draped gingerly over the ends. <laughs> struck, uh, struck...